Teach it. All right, so uh, we start with, okay, what is mass in grams of that many atoms of copper? In order to get to mass, you have to go from atoms to moles first. So that's your first job is go from atoms to moles. And that's probably the part where you guys all define. So 1.20 times 10 to the eighth atoms. Uh, we're dealing with copper. Now again, for every one mole of copper, you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. We know we want to go to moles, right? So we'll put moles on top of copper, and we'll put atoms on bottom. All we're using is Avogadro's number. One mole is equal to that to Avogadro's number. So one mole, Avogadro's number. So guess what? You gotta memorize that number. And here's the setup for the first part. I think everyone got that. I think everyone actually did fine with that part. First part. So that comes out to 1.2 divided by six. Huh? So 1.2 divided by six is 0 0.199. Or 0 0.2, either one's fine. And then you just do the exponents next. So this was 1.2 divided by 6. Now the exponents are 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 23rd. Oh, Well, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're dividing. All we're doing, when you do the 1 over dividing, you know, 1 over this product, you're just dividing that. So what do we do when we divide exponents? Subtract, subtract them. So what's 8 minus 23? Negative 15? And that's in moles. We're in moles now. That's where you guys got knocked off, is that you're thinking we're still working with atoms here because you have an exponent, so it might have confused you. We're working with moles now. We, we cross out atoms. We now have moles. So it is literally a horse of a different color. Okay, we're dealing with moles, moles of copper. So what do you do with well, we keep we keep the we have the exponent here, so we just keep working with it. Now we gotta go from moles to grams, moles to mass. That's a whole different conversion. That's why I got And that's where it comes to mind where you gotta know what copper is. That you gotta know copper. That's why I say label everything. So now we know we're going to grams. We're go we are going to grams. So we need to do, let's see here, grams on top, right? Grams of copper. On bottom, we need uh, moles to cancel out. And it's probably going to be one mole of copper, right? So what's conversion factor there? That's where you look at the periodic table. You look for the mass of copper. Copper Cu, 63.5. Again, just look at the periodic table. That's it. Just look it up. You will all have a periodic table for the test, so all you have to do is look at it. So now this comes out to, you can just plug it in. The exponent, you can hang on to it. You just, let's see here, multiply the uh, decimals. So you, you can make this one point, or excuse me, 12.65 times 10 to the, again, I'm just keeping this exponent, 10 to 15. And yeah, you adjust it for scientific notation. If you gave, you know, if you put this on a test on a short response, I would take it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a big deal about it. This is in grams of copper. This is equal to again at this last part. You just move the decimal point over once. So 1.27 times. So what is it? 14. And that is in grams. Multiply. Good question. Good question. All we did was multiply this times 
point five, and I left this alone. I left the exponent alone. I didn't even I didn't even plug the exponent into my calculator. All I did was multiply these two. I just multiplied these two over here. That that's again that's what I'm saying. Just leave the exponent alone. Save just tack you know tack it on at the end. And then you know once you get the once you get your decimal you can plug this in and put it in scientific notation. All right, you won't get a double step one like that on the test, but you will get you know grams to moles, moles to atoms, atoms to moles, stuff like that. Won't be that complex, but you'll get it.